a welcome to our home and also daylight savings time. Um, yeah. I hope that spring is coming wherever you live. Uh, it's slowly coming here because we still are having a lot of cold weather and rain, but it'll come for all of us. All right. So today, the, the lesson is about um, two things, actually. Not- noticing the way that, that people love you and also apology. So um, this is a story about my father. I don't talk about my father very much. I love, love my dad. I'm so grateful with the father that I had. Um, but he wasn't the way I would have wanted a father to be, actually. My father, um, I would have wanted my father to listen to my feelings and tell, tell me that he loves me a lot and that he's proud of me. Those things didn't happen. But my father showed his love in, in other ways. He helped me with my homework. He was always very t- attentive and very helpful whenever whenever I needed help, and he would play games with me. And as I, as I grew, um, he started showing his love for me by building shelves wherever we lived. And we lived in all different kinds of places because Barry was in medical school and transferred, and we lived kind of all over the United States. And wherever we lived, he always built a shelf or two. And now in our new house, well, it's 30, over 30 years old, he's, there's all kinds of shelves. And I, and I, I learned that that was my dad's way of showing me that, that he loved me. Mm-hmm. Well, about a, a year before he died, my, I was sitting with my father, and, and he looked at me, and he had a few tears in his eyes, my father never, I never saw my father cry. And he said, I'm sorry that I never told you that I loved you. Because of course I love you so much. I said, I don't know why it was so hard for me. It was never expressed in my growing up. And so it was, it was almost impossible for me to get those words out. Isn't that beautiful? So I remember many, many things about my father, but it's that it's that apology that's I don't know if you were there or not, but I don't really remember that. It's that apology that was so dear, so dear to my heart. Mm-hmm. And and so the home the homework for this week is to, is to just reflect. Is there someone that you need to give an apology to? Maybe you think that they already know, like my dad, he probably already thought I knew, and I I did know, but to hear him say it meant so much to me. And it's like, I've I've also given apologies to, to people when they didn't expect it, and it felt, it feels so good both to give the apology and, and also to receive the apology. So, and of course, if you're in a partner relationship, that, that has to almost be a, almost a daily part of your life, is, is, is to notice when perhaps you've hurt your partner or d- done, done something that, that made it hard for them, and, and to offer an apology it it doesn't make you a lesser person. It makes you a more amazing, powerful person. Mm. Yeah, um, I'm remembering um, a very powerful story. I, I'll tell it really briefly of um, a woman in a workshop years ago who told us or shared it with the group that she'd been holding a grudge with her mother and hadn't spoken to her mother for like 10 years, ten years right? Yeah. Holding on to a grudge. I mean, it's, it's so easy to do that. And we just, we supported her and loved her and she realized 
that she needed to go home. It was a Saturday, and she was going to go home, and and she was going to reach out to her mother. And she did that Saturday night, and then Sunday she came back and told us um, how powerful it was. That and she apologized for holding the grudge, and then she re- then was it then that she learned that her mother was actually dying of cancer. Right. It was her mother died like two days. Two before. days after she made the call, and something about that is so poignant. I mean, it's so powerful to think about the timing that she got a chance to apologize. And you know, that's the truth. We don't ever know how much time we have or the person that we're holding a grudge. You know, it's so powerful to apologize. It liberates you to apologize. Yeah. That's a beautiful story. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, so this is um, a song I wrote about um, choosing, right? Because we always have a choice, and we can make that choice from moment to moment. And this is about following the path with heart, right? with heart and we can choose and we'll never lose for the path leads to who we are and we can choose we can always choose to travel the path with heart and we can choose and we'll never lose for the path leads to who we are. It's worth the time to work through our pain and open to the love we know. It's worth the time only love will remain and our souls will surely grow and our souls will surely grow and our hearts will overflow and our hearts will overflow Take a moment and close your eyes and take a nice deep breath and feel the liberating power of choosing love, of choosing the path with heart and reaching out with love and really apologizing for for even little things that you've done that have hurt somebody, 
It's called Making Amends in the 12-step program. It's really a liberating thing to do. Okay, that's your homework. You can open your eyes. Yeah, thank you. Oh, so this is this is really good homework this week. <clears throat> Not just for this week, but, but but for a lifetime. And you'll you'll find as you as you give these apologies, you'll you'll feel more powerful in, inside. And also it's it's such a beautiful thing to receive these apologies. I mean that memory <clears throat> with my dad, that's 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 one of my favorites. All right. Mm. Um, your dad, you were sharing that he he didn't really listen to your feelings. He didn't know how, right? Right. And and he didn't also know how to just say "I love you," right? But I'm doing that for you too. I can. <laughs> I I'm always happy to listen to all of your feelings. And I'm I'm happy to tell you how much I love you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I feel very blessed. Thank you. And I feel blessed too. Thank you. All right. Thank you for watching. <laughs>